Hi folks and welcome to another edition of Alistair and Gregor's Veg Garden. So I've had a video told you about about me, what happened, so that as I say that's my comeback video. So if you want some news about that then go and watch it. Um it's been about six months, so in the comeback video I mentioned that um there's been lots of changes uh, in the uh around the garden and that so what I'm gonna do is I'm now going to show you this is the great update. Uh, from Alistair and Gregor's veg garden. So bear with me folks. So here we go. We're inside the shed and I'm going to show you what we have done. Oh, this is also about to do it. Oh, another little ladybird there. Sorry. Right, so what's happened is we've got rid of the completely got rid of the grow cabinet. I've purchased you can't quite see it because it's in a box down the back. Uh, you can probably see that's my light. Uh, grow lights there and I've actually got a grow tent so we're actually going to put a grow tent up and put that so I've had a massive clear out as you probably can see a load to get rid of a whole load of junk uh, to, so I can sort out it's still a little bit but it's a lot better than it than it was so I've had a real clear clear out inside the shed so that I've also got, got myself a chair so that I can actually sit down here not just do garden stuff but other stuff you know like a into model railways and do an into model railway electronics so there's a stuff of doing um uh, soldering and things like that so i've got all other kit as well inside here so that's inside as i say, said in my comeback video the massive changes in the garden so i'm going to show you it's a little bit messy in places so don't don't think we about that but let me take you out and you'll see big differences right folks so here we are outside um as you can see what we've done, if I come back in a little bit just so that it's easier to see. So we've now got this area down here, and then it goes across the top and there's a massive around this side. So let me just show you quickly. Not much has been planted. I've got we planted my two rubber, I'll take you around to the it's gone absolutely crazy, but it's absolutely covered with aphids. Uh got two lots of onion. Let me just take you down this one. And it's an interesting story of the garden then, so I just need to come down and sit down next to So these ones here would normally be the ones I would have for the show. But these were the eight that were actually inside the grow cabinet that I had originally inside. Um, and I thought they'd been looked after well, but they haven't grown anywhere near. Um, I'll show you, already taken because it's village show as well. I'll say, speak about that for a minute, but uh, these have not grown as well as my, what I thought would have reject on because I had these, there was too many for the grow cabinet, so I put eight inside the the cabinet, the sort of hot house thing I have inside the greenhouse. And for some reason, they when I took them out and planted them in the new uh, new raised beds, they seem to have gone far better than these have. And these were the ones that, these ones here had all things like mycorrhizal fungi, calcified seaweed, um, so all the, the stuff you normally expect, but oh, it's one of those things. What's interesting also is these these were grown from seed, and one has produced a seed head. So my idea is to just let this grow, and that, and then try and harvest some seeds from it. Well, we'll wait and see. Only time will tell, won't it, whether I manage to do that. So as I say, there I'm just letting them grow that until the point. That, um, and probably, you know, they'll probably be used in the home house because I've got to save the seeds from from that one. So, save the seeds from that, and then probably keep just one or two behind so I can actually get them them to grow for seed next year. So, that's that. Um, I said I'd planted so I planted eight out into here, as you can see, it's still as you can see the size of them. Um, if you look at this one here, there are about 17 inches circumference when I took them out. So there was three more, so one, two and three, those ones there were the best of the bunch. So they were taken out and presented for the show. Um, we'll show you rhubarb. Oh, we'll go around and do rhubarb first, after this. All right, so this has all got to be tidied up, but it's all ready, as you can see, if we come this way. We we'll come all the way out. And show you so this is all 
So the rhubarb was planted down here. Remember, if you'll remember rightly, rhubarb was in these trunks. And this is, we just got an absolute, I've taken some rhubarb off for the show, but you probably can see the amount of aphids. I've given them a spray to try and get rid of them, but they're just absolute decimated. I'm not sure if it's cause they just have, have not been pulling enough rhubarb off. And it's just been a mass and it's been perfect haven, as I say. Aphids everywhere. So, but it's absolutely gone crazy. Um, so we'll go over here. I've been given some advice regarding my strawberries. Because I planted, put my strawberries in here. But, um, as you'll probably see. On the, on my, oh, you don't want to look at my hand, do you really? That they come in a bit malformed. They are. So what I've done is I've given them a, a treatment of Epsom salts or magnesium sulphate. It was on offer in Boots as well, so we've given them a, given them a treatment that. We'll wait and see. If they don't get a really good, if they don't pick up enough, then what I might do is I might go, just get some new seeds, strawberry seeds, and start them start them over um, uh, for the beginning of next year. Because if, if we're not going to have a good crop of them, it might be worth just to take it out and start Again, I had some, because this space here was just three that hadn't got anything, what I've just done is I've just some some of the side shoots from the tomatoes in the greenhouse, I've just popped them in. Let's just go back this way. I know it looks an absolute mass, but hey, we'll just use it, see what we get off it. Hopefully they all do better than the ones inside the, the greenhouse. I'll show you the only other thing that's growing, as I say it's really limited, has been the tomatoes. And as you can see... We've got, got lots of tomatoes and I'm sure that everyone suffered from the same problems is to do with blossom end rot. It's just everywhere. You know, my, my next door neighbour was saying the same thing, you know. When you look at them, just so many of the, the trusses I've just got blossom end rot. Some, when you look at that one there, that seems to be okay. But a lot of them are really, really bad, so... We'll just salvage what we can. You know, a lot of them are splitting as well. So, it's been a real, real struggle this year. Yeah, we've got some, we do, don't get me wrong, we've had some good ones as well. But it's a struggle between which ones have got blossom end rot and which ones haven't. So, that's, that's it really. Yeah, there wasn't, there's nothing else. Let me just go back over this way and we can just talk about what the future is. Let's come back in here. Right, the future is the rhubarb's going to be there. I'm going to build a specific sort of cage netting around it. Yeah, let's put my finger on that to sort of enclose it in so it doesn't take over everywhere else. Idea down in this area here is to have my parsnips. So I need to get that sorted there. Then over here. In this area here, we will have what we normally have. We will have um, onions, shallots, leeks, that sort of stuff in this area here. Uh, onions will be grown from seed, not grown from sets ever again. I think I've got some already ready to go. Um, idea would be would be to turn this whole bed here into a strawberry one, strawberry bed. Uh, I was only, as I say, I only put those extra tomatoes in just because they were there. There'll be nothing planted in boxes, uh, either buckets or anything like that, on the ground. I've learnt my lesson from that because what happens is the compost comes out of it, it um, or the, the bark chippings you rot down, and it just becomes an absolute mess. And I've raised it up as well, as you probably see, because we've still got this bit just down here to do, and that's got to drop down, so we've still got that bit to do. Idea will be to also still have the, the onions. Um, these ones would then have carrots in them. What we're going to do is we are going to take the, the we've got ones over here that are better because these are the bottom parts because the other ones were the top and it does leak out sometimes. So we're going to swap them over and we'll have them just in here, the same side here for doing some um, nice uh, stumped carrots. Uh, and actually, we'll be growing stuff inside. The greenhouse it'll be tomatoes again for next year and some other probably some other maybe some herbs 
basil things like things like that right so um i'll just do let you have a little look around so as you probably can see big change there flowers galore and the same down the bottom as well so oh there comes one of the cats oh no gone she's gone so so massive change I mean, as i say we've also got big change also got decking now back of the garden so it's only ever as you see as ever it's just a short trunk down for me into this area right so i think we'll leave that um uh what i'm planning to do as i say we've got village we've been to village so we put rhubarb giant onions um and three lots of different tomatoes in for the village show so we'll see how we do it's nothing compared to last year because last year we had about 12 or 13 different vegetable or fruit varieties so we'll, we'll wait and wait and see what i'm going to what i've got i've taken pictures already so my idea is i don't know if the app that i use on my phone uh, will allow me but i'm going to see if i can put still the still images of i took them in situ actually at the show and also i'm going there'll be a little bit at the end of this as well to let you know how well we've done uh, at the show because it's it's a saturday afternoon we'll be heading down shortly it's already open for the afternoon session so the judging's already completed so we'll go down later and we'll see how well we'll, we've done meet between greg and myself oh there's the cat see she's she's very scared is our willow uh, so we'll go down and see how well we've done so we'll add that one to the, the end folks right so thanks very much for watching this video the first one in six months and um, hopefully we'll be a bit more regular now now that i'm i'm feeling still tired mind you but now, now that things are a lot better so we'll see see how things go the most part will be my big job in the next coming weeks is really to give a good tidy up uh, around and get everything ready for when autumn comes in to get things so that it, and there's nothing major to be done um before winter sets in so we can get everything all this everything sorted over winter ready for a brand new growing season next year so thanks very much for watching folks i really appreciate all your uh, the best wishes that you've sent to me over the last six months and um, hopefully as i say this is a return of regular videos for you folks thanks very much for watching have a wonderful partly heat wave again for a few days in the uk enjoy it uh, and we'll catch you on our next video bye just now So hi folks, we're uh, after the village show, we uh, didn't do as well as probably we would hope for compared to last year, but still did well. Uh, we got the first prize for our tasty tomatoes, and then we got first prize for our rhubarb, and then second prize for our onions. We know got a good idea why that was, because I only... Uh, only de-skinned them uh, just on Friday, so they didn't get a chance to brown up. And the guy who got first place says was already started browned, so that's fine. Um, third place we got for another lot of tomatoes, and that was it. We didn't get anything for our small tomatoes, but there was some really good variety there. Some nice yellow ones. Uh, so. That's us folks, that, as I say, I was just going to let you know how well we've done at the village show. So, till the next video, thanks very much folks.